In this video, we are about to share with you why 2% of everybody that started a brand is super successful and why the other 98% is not. Let's get into this video. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Marlon Wise, co-owner and CEO of World and Vision. Hey, I'm Nicholas Clark, co-owner and designer of World and Vision. Hey, this is about to be a banger right here. Hey, we up. back with another one. We back with the guys. Hey, yours truly, uh, Marlon and Nick. Uh, you know, we created this channel to give you guys the gems. Uh, that we didn't have when we was getting our brand started. Man, we, we we going on like year three of like, you know, consistently dropping these videos and, you know, taking them through the process and the journey, continuing to be transparent. So today we wanted to come and give some action pack information. What we got from today, Nick? See, so first and foremost, one of the things that most new brand owners don't do is they don't read books. All right. So I'll give you a quick story of how we got into reading a ton, a ton of books. All right. So we was in Atlanta. Uh, we got our car broken into, long story short, our everything got stolen from us, right? And when that hit us and when that happened to us, we didn't have no place to actually start from again. We didn't, we, we were super discouraged about actually continuing the brand. But what we did was we picked up the book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? And in that book, it started, it started to make us think more. It started to make us think bigger. It started to make us think smarter. It started to show us that we don't have to work super super hard to build a successful business but we do need to think super super smart we need to have strategy we need to figure out how to not work for money but ultimately work for knowledge and skills so then we could transform those knowledge and skills into how much cash that we want so inside that book it said a question opens the mind a statement closes the mind so anytime you have a roadblock or you have a a, a, a bump in the road all you have to do is start to question how can you get past this how can we create how can we create sales? How can we make hundred thousand dollars a month? And what happens is your brain it starts to it starts to it starts to wander. It starts to wander of all the possible things that you can do, right? And that's how you start to figure those things out. And what I want you to also do is focus on the things that you can do. Don't worry about what nobody else can do. All right. So put the power in your hands. So whenever you go out and you read these books, you're gonna to start to educate yourself. You're gonna to start to get knowledge, and you're gonna to start to think even bigger than what you was thinking before. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to read books because that's gonna be super important when it comes down to building your business to the level that you wanna build it to. Yeah, and kind of just to add on that because they're gonna have that person that's on here that maybe struggle with reading. Uh, I was that person. So uh, what I recommend for them is for you to go out and get on Audible. So what we did was we were subject to listening to music for books, working out for books, running for books, mm -hmm. just listening to books in general. If you like, you know, you struggle with that and sometimes it takes you a longer time. So we was able to finish books faster than people that was really yes. reading a book yes. by just listening to it. Yes. All right. So that's super, super key. But number two is going to be having a schedule like most people do not have a schedule. Think about this. When you was going to school, especially people that went to college, like they gave you a schedule. You know what time you needed to be at those classes so that way you could get that information. That's the same thing you need to do with your life. And a lot of people, I'm gonna give you this on two perspectives. If you're running your business part-time and you have a job, and if you're running your business full-time. So if you're running your business part-time and you don't have a schedule, really, you don't know what you need to be doing after work. Correct. But when you go to work, they give you everything that you need is already lined up for you. Know all the tasks that you have, but you don't know the tasks that you need to do inside of your business. So when you inside of your schedule, you develop time to actually work on your business, to actually work on content, to actually work on marketing. You have to have block schedules and block times. And it may be something that you only do for one time a week, but that's okay. All right. And then for people that's working on their business full time, if you don't have a schedule, you just you may be reacting more than leading. And inside of our business, we talk about leading because when you're leading, you're going to be able to make better decisions than just reacting from something happening. You can't always be in reaction mode. Just as soon as this happened, you react in here. As soon as this happened, you react in here. You have to lead and you have to plan your days. You have to strategically do the things that you need to do to fully maximize the time because we all have the same amount of time. And so having a schedule is going to be definitely, definitely one of the most important things you need. Hey, and I and I struggle with this a lot because uh, most creative people, what I see like designers, uh, photographers, they don't like to be on a schedule. They don't like to be walking on a straight line. They like to create. They like to go up on on creative journeys. And if and, and we feel like that's best for us, but really in reality is not because like you're saying, like we tend to put the things that we want to do before the things that we have to do. 
Um, and that's 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 not going to be able to get your business to the next level because you got to remember you are the one you are the one in your business that's at the top level. Nobody nobody on the on a bigger level than you. Yep. So if you're not focusing in on the time that you need to put in for your business, is not going to get to the level that you wanted to get to because success equals is is the time that's being put in. So if somebody say you got to put in. 10,000 hours for your business to become a multi-million dollar brand. It's only 24 hours in a day, oh. right? And you sleep eight hours of, of the day. And I mean, you're not about to work for the net, for the, for the uh, remaining 16 hours inside of your business. That's, if you work eight hours, that's, that's, that's 16. Going. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's impossible. So if you put in three hours a day, four hours a day, right? Now it's going to start to equal up to one day that 10,000 hours. And now you're going to have that business that you truly desire. All right. So make sure that you have a schedule, even for my creative people out there. Hey, don't be afraid to put yourself in a box sometimes because sometimes you do have to be disciplined and sometimes you do have to hold yourself accountable for the things that you need to do, not the things that you want to do. Man, if you get in crazy information right now make sure you like subscribe to the channel run us up you need to be notified when these videos drop so that way you can continue to stay with the community right and i and, and i know like you know you just reading this title uh you know coming on here thinking that we about to give you tools when really you need the transformation like these are the intangible things that we had to educate ourselves on to be able to really reach that next level right i used to think it was all about design i used to think it was all about you know how this uh photo shoot look but really, in reality, is a business at the end of the day. Yes, we selling clothes. Yes, we selling hats. It's products that we selling, but it's a business, all right? It all stem from the same tree. And the next point I want to get to is this. All of us are selling t-shirts. All of us are selling hoodies. All of us are selling shorts, hats, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, products online. What makes your product different from the next product is going to be your story. You have to tell your story. A lot of brand owners fail at this, and that's the reason why they don't get to the $10 million, $100 million level, because they don't know how to tell their story. So I encourage you to be transparent with your audience. The day that we showed our audience that we was in our apartment, cutting the tags, folding the shirts up, getting it in, that was when our audience was truly invested into the into the business. So today, if you start your brand, what I would do is I hop on camera and say, hey, it's day one. Right, I'm getting my brand started. This is where I'm gonna be in the next three to five years. All right, and then from there, now you document, now you got receipts. So whenever you build that business in the next three to five years, guess what? You get to go back to that first video where you said, "Yo, this day one of me start my brand," and that content becomes super, super valuable because that's a part of your story. And no matter how many times you post it, it's gonna get the same engagement over and over and over again, and it's gonna get more engagement than what you get on posting just product, right? So whenever we telling our story, we, we started our brand with 12 shirts and what? $120. We tell our story every time we we hop on the video. Yep, most and, of them probably could have repeated that. Exactly, and and that's the reason why you support this channel because we gravitate and we and, and, and we are close to what you are starting with too. You might not be starting with you know five hundred or a thousand dollars, but you might be starting with a hundred dollars. And we are similar to you, all right. And that's the reason why you're able to watch this channel and get the information that we're giving you because we started from nothing, just like you. So make sure whenever you building out your brand, don't forget to tell your story because that's what truly makes your product more unique than the next product that's out there. Yep, and that's crazy because like. Now you have the opportunity to get in that room, to get become in that environment. Watching this video is one thing. So we want to also take this opportunity right now. You made it to the channel right now to allow you the chance to work with us. So what I want you to do is text 10K to the number on the screen, all right? And we want to personally implement the systems that we've been able to create inside of your business, all right? So the, the next step that I got for you is going to be building your skills. Um, and that's one of those things that we learn with putting ourselves in a different community, in a different environment, and continuously to like learn. Because like as you build your skills, you're going to also build your team. You're also going to build yourself. Because we... Who we are today isn't who we were when we first started our business. Yes, like sir. we didn't know anything about Facebook ads. We didn't know anything about you. We bet we didn't know anything about marketing. We didn't know anything about team building. We didn't know anything about cost of goods. We didn't know anything about taxes. We didn't know anything. A lot of things, just like you may be feeling right now. But what we did was we got in the environment. The first thing we did was we got in a business accelerator program. All right, and inside that business accelerator program, we got around other high-level entrepreneurs that was 
running businesses. They wasn't maybe doing the business that we wanted, but they was actually running businesses and they was thinking like business people. The second thing was we actually got around the person that was doing what we wanted to do. And we went to Atlanta, we ended up uh, meeting a guy named Sherrod that owned God is Dope, which a lot of y'all probably watched that same video, that black and white video that we was in. We Everybody on, everybody watching this just about got that same information, <laughs> all right? And, um, and then from there, he let us know that it was possible. And now it was just on us to execute on all the information and the environment that we now surrounded ourselves with. So we started to build the skills of networking. We started to build the skills of building up marketing, and going sell and distributing. A lot of us don't even have the skill of selling mm -hmm. our product. Mm -hmm. Like we go out and the pop up, pop us up. We sitting there expecting people to support you mm -hmm. when you actually have to go out, tell your story and make the sale, close mm -hmm. the deal. All right, so there's so many skills that you need to develop and over and develop and develop. And how you're going to develop those skills is going to be two things. It's either you're going to use time or you're going to use money. All right, and so which by time, that means you're going to put in the hours. You're going to go to YouTube University. You're going to go to Google Academy, and you're going to figure these things out. Or you're going to use money. So you're going to use money, and you're going to get in the workshop. You're going to get in the mentorship program. You're going to go to conferences. You're going to pay other companies to come in and consult you. You're going to use your money to allow you to speed up the skills and the knowledge that you need to get to get where you want to go faster. All right. So building your skills is ultimately going to be that thing that allows you to skip a lot of steps. And is either you're going to be able to use two things. Remember that time or money. Hey, uh, last but not least, I want to share with you this one last thing that I think has built our business to the level in which it is now by using this one single concept, focusing on one thing. Right. So whenever people get brand started, they buy 50 shirts. Let's just say you buy 50 shirts. You put this one design on and you sell all 50 shirts. You tend to take that money and go buy jogger pants, right? Sell a jogger pants, take the jogger pants money, go out and buy hats, right? When in reality, only 50 people got the shirts, only however many people, you, it ain't that many people that's wearing You just had his next new big idea exactly. that you think gonna get you exactly. to the next level. Exactly, but in reality, like you can sell one single item hundreds of thousands of times and that's how you able to acquire those hundreds of thousands of customers like we had this one orange t-shirt that we sold 15,000 times right and that was 15,000 new customers and that right there alone is going to set your brand apart because now you got 15 people that you could send out an email to send out a text to right and start to get the shop with your company so what i want you to do is i want you to find that one winning item and i want you to dive all the way in on it i know y'all hear us talk about this all the time but if you walk in a room of 100 people and they got on 10 different designs from your company nobody not going to notice that but if they got on one design everybody is going to notice that one design everybody going to be asking what's this brand where can i get this shirt at i want you to do that with the entire world that's exactly what we did all right we giving you all the information that we did groundwork. You don't, you don't have to make the same mistakes that we made when we were starting our business because you're watching this video right now. Yeah. Hey, if it, you- but My bad, Nick, and the country, because the crazy really thing is just to add on to that, like I just want people to understand. If you got like 10 people, let's even break this down smaller, and everybody walk in with that curved shirt, like people ask us, like, what is that? Yes. That's the thing that you want right there. Yes. You, you are doing it because it's gonna, allow people every everybody that's in that area to see that why everybody got this on who who th that's the first thing that comes to their mind who is this and what do they do yes and so that gives you the opportunity to explain your brand and let them know what you got going so that's the reason why you always want to have those same designs because now people gonna see you people gonna start to think that y'all a team or you and it they're gonna just be curious Hey, now you watching this video, guess what? You are officially a part of that 2%. All right, Talk make sure me. you get this information and make sure you execute. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Hey, Let's get it. We out.